July the 11th. It is 12.21 p.m. and we are getting ready to go swimming. Um, the place where we're going swimming at doesn't allow cameras, so I'll have to put the camera in the locker. So you won't be able to see us swimming, but we're going swimming! It's overcast today, which is good, so the sun won't be beating lakes down on us really badly. Rob's just cooking us a yummy lunch before we go. Hey, y'all! That was a really nice swim. And after this clip, I'm going to show you two pictures, one of me, one of Rob. He took when we were done swimming, and oh, look. I did bruise my leg. It'll be okay. So yeah, we had a really nice time. Now we're just headed to Grandma's and Grandpa's. And tomorrow, we are going to Burlington with Aunt Mo to watch my cousins perform and then we're going to the beach in Burlington so I'm really excited weather permitting of course so yeah did you have a good swim honey? I did it was wet it was wet it was water and it was wet and we got these really cool little swimming bracelets mine's under my watch me happy faces pardon? Oh, I didn't put the, this around my wrist like this. And my camera's almost done. So there's Rob's bracelet. Happy faces. Oh, I can't see. Happy faces. Ooh. I found out that I can float much better than I thought I could. And I can swim under water much, water much better than I thought I could. And I can do somersaults. underwater although the water goes up my nose and then the chlorine really burns and I can feel it all up in my sinuses but we had so much fun I could have a nap now y'all it was nice spending time with my honey so I will talk to you all later I love you God bless bye for now Help me. Hello, Grandpa. How are you doing today? How am I doing? Help. Yes, how are you doing? Can you help me? Help me. How are you doing? Help me. Wind up. Help me. You're wound up? How come? Corgi, help me, help me. You're okay. Help me, help me. You're okay. Well, why don't you sing a song with him for five minutes, honey? Why don't you sing a song with Grandpa for five minutes, honey? Help me, help me, when I wish I was smiling. It's a bright morning spring. With the little of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world is bright and gay. Oh, and I hear his eyes are smiling. Sure, it steals your heart away. My wild Irish rose, sweetest flower that grows. You may search everywhere, but God can compare. With my wild Irish rose, my wild Irish rose, the sweetest 
flower that grows, you may search everywhere, but none can compare with my wild Irish rose. Papa Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, and one for the dame. One for the little boy. Who doesn't realize I'm recording him. <laughs> black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. One for the master. Go see him, Rob. One for the dame. And if this ball hit me in the eye, now it's time to put it away. Bob, a black sheep. Hello. Help. Hi. So there was a bit of grandpa footage for ya. We are on our way home. in front of this truck so I gotta run a little bit ahead here we are on our way home and what was I gonna say I had something to tell y'all and now it's just gone no they know we're going to the beach while they're permitting um, <laughs> I can't think of it now because I'm so tired, y'all. That Rob is handsome? Yes, Rob is handsome. And you can't have him because he's Rob mine. That Rob is perfect. Okay, now he's pushing it. That Rob simplifies extraordinary uh, results. I am so good that I heard the United Nations wants to name, rename Canada after me. Now he's just being egotistical. <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to tell y'all. But if I think of it, I'll uh, turn the camera back on and let y'all know. For now, I'm going to go home. And sit out in my backyard. I'm gonna wash your swimsuit for tomorrow. And read. And Rob is gonna wash his swimsuit. And Iggy's gonna have a bath. And oh, there's an ant. I didn't want to run over the ant. I was just like having a conversation with my grandma tonight about Adam and Eve and it's nice to talk like a little bit of religion with my grandma because like we have the same beliefs and, and stuff like that and it's just it's nice because it's not like my grandma she doesn't like jam it down my throat like some people do you know you know the good thing about like, religion a true Christian will allow you to interpret in your own your own meaning. Like you, you read the book. It's like reading a book, right? <laughs> you can interpret the story. The story is very clear, but you can interpret it a little bit differently. And a true Christian will say that not all one faith is right, but not all the other faiths are wrong. It's about balance. Like my one friend on here, Valentina Pie, is a true Christian. Because it's like, I feel like she, she's a true Christian. It's just like, she doesn't say all these people are right and all these people are wrong. She says, this is the way I feel about it. No, no, no. And I was going to go up on the sidewalk. This is the way I feel about it. And, and that's my belief. And other people are entitled to their belief. That's like me. This is the way I feel about it. And y'all are entitled to your own belief. But, um, 
I am a true Christian. I believe in one God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in all the teachings of the Bible. I believe God doesn't hold one sin higher than another. Um, I believe in an eye for an eye because um, the Hummeric <coughs> Code <coughs> teaches an eye for an eye and in the Bible uh, it also says that and um, that's just like talk religion with cork I guess um, yeah well it's kind of fascinating like like if you think about it youth Bibles right they tell the story but it's completely different it's put into the text and context that a child or youth can understand. It's not taking away from the original Bible. It's not creating another Bible. It's interpreting. It kind of makes me nervous, though, like youth youth Bibles and stuff, because um, in Revelations, it says that man shall not add to this book, or to him shall be added the plagues of the earth. Man shall not take away from this book and that part of the Bible. So that you shouldn't add to the Bible or take away from it. So... There's many editions, actually, that are will modernize the, the Bible. Instead of the, it's the. Instead, instead of, of thy, I, it's the. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because the Bible was written over so many times, so in some versions it's the, not thy. And I just believe in one true God, and I figure as long as I believe in one true God and, like, keep his commandments, then I'm doing okay. Um, I don't go to church on Sundays. Um, and that's just me. That's just because I believe in, in my God and I believe that I don't need to go to a church to believe in God and... Bazinga. Bazinga. The guy was wearing a shirt that said Bazinga. Anyways, I believe I don't... I believe that... How do I put this? God is not going to punish... I believe that God is not going to punish me for not going to church. Um, I believe in the Bible. It's just, church is, it's just, it's, it's really not me. There are, there are pastors of Seventh-day Adventist Church who are now retired from actually uh, practicing uh, to have their own congregation. They don't go to church, but they pray daily. And they, I pray they have nightly. They Bible study. I do. So they have a, a relationship with God that's satisfactory in their eyes and in God's eyes. Because, let's face it, in some parts of the world, there's poverty so struck that there is no churches. What does that mean? That they, they're not going to heaven because there's no church around? No, God will accept us on as an long individual as basis. We come to Him. Right. As we come to Him. Like, you gotta want God. You gotta need God. You gotta come to God. And reach out to Him. Uh, and, and there's one part that I like in the Bible. It's like, cast your worries up to the Lord. And when I pray, and if I have worries, that's what I do. I just cast my burdens to the Lord because He'll take care of them. And uh, I don't believe in judging people. The Bible says, love one another. So... I don't judge no one based on their faith, based on their religion, based on their race, based on who they love. Um, I know in the Bible it says that man shall not lay down with man and woman shall not lay down with woman. But I have a lot of friends who are lesbians and gays and I'm not going to judge them because it's not my place to judge them. Um, I don't judge anybody. I, I just refuse to do it. So yeah, that's Talk Religion with Cork. This is eight minutes long, so I love y'all. God bless. Bye for now. Oh yes, I do pray nightly. I pray nightly.